Hi, here is Paweł, Digital Content Manager at Beam Object Poland. Today I have pleasure to introduce you some new objects published on our portal. They have been created for Syniat company and contain predefined materials, layers and models of walls, linings, shafts and ceilings. As usual, to download the objects you need to visit beamobject.com portal, click Browse Beam Objects and select Syniat PL brand. You can always filter the brands by typing the name of this company in the Brands field. Now I'm able to see all Syniat PL products available on the portal. I will choose one example wall, this one 100A75. Here is the product page where you can find some information, description, specification, links, classification and other data. We also prepared some nice 3D previews of these objects, so we can click 3D button to see how exactly the object looks. Let's start with Archicad. As you can see we have four Archicad files, LCF and GSM with the detailed 2D drawings, and two AAT files containing 3D structure of the wall. Right now I will download the AAT files. It's extremely important to download the both, Syniat PL additional attributes AAT, and also Syniat PL NIDA wall 100A75 AAT. Let's download also the second example wall. I need to go to the Syniat PL products again and this time I will choose this one 150C50. As you can see this wall also contains two AAT files but I already downloaded additional attributes file so it's enough to download the second one 150C50 AAT. Let's go back to our Archicad project. You need to select Options, Element Attributes and Attribute Manager. Then you need to select the All tab on the right side, click Open, select the Syniat Additional Attributes AAT files which you downloaded from the portal, open it, select all elements in this table on the right side and click Overwrite. Please remember that it's crucial to use Overwrite option because otherwise those objects won't work properly. Let's import the second file containing the wall structure for the 100A75 wall. You need to open this file, select all attribute types, click Append, Apply and confirm with the Create button. Now we can close the Attribute Manager. Let's go to Wall Settings and check if the walls have been imported correctly. Yes, you can see that here we have some predefined Syniat NIDA walls. Let's repeat this import process for the second wall. For the 150C50 you need to again locate the file, select it, highlight all attribute types, click Append, and confirm with apply and create button. Now let's check again if the wall has been imported properly. Here you can see we have different types for 150C50 and 100A75 walls. Now let me draw some internal walls using the imported structures. So here is the first one. Let's select it and change its type to let's say 100A75 expert. I will draw some additional internal walls, one in the middle, copy it to the left and the third one on the right side. If you would like to see the connection details you can always zoom in and see how it looks in the corners. And also you can modify the structure of the wall by changing the thickness of some layers. You need to select the composite, select the layer which you want to change. In this example we change the airspace from 1 mm to 100. And confirm with OK. And you are able to see how this wall looks with the bigger airspace. For some Syniat systems we also prepared for you another object which contain detailed 2D drawings. I am using my Beam Object application for Archicad to locate those files. So I need to select the wall and download the LCF file. 
and also repeat this process for GSM file for the same wall. If you download more objects, you don't have to download LCF again. It's enough to download it once and have it somewhere in the library. If you downloaded both files, you can go to Object menu and select this particular object from the library. You can modify its properties by changing detailed drawing in a general settings tab. You can modify the color in the appearance tab. And you also have some links to the manufacturer's website in the third tab product pages. Here is how it looks on the manufacturer's website. And in the last tab, you have some social media links and some beam object information. If you place to the drawings in your project, you can see the connection details, some additional information and cross-section of this wall. In Revit you can import predefined walls from the Beam Object portal or you can choose more convenient way and use our Beam Object Revit application to download them directly into your project. I will choose the second way, click Browse button, filter the content on the portal again by typing in the brands field Synyat PL name. And here we have our object. I will choose one example again. This one 150A100. You need to click download, select the Revit file and wait a second until it is downloaded into your project. After the download process, the Revit opens the walls in a separate window. Here you can see some 3D layer structure of these walls. You can also switch to level 1 to see the details in 2D. And we also prepared some detailed drawings with the cross section and some connections of these walls. If you would like to import these walls into your own project, you need to switch to this project. Choose Manage tab and select Transfer Project Standards icon. Now you need to select the project containing the standards which you want to copy, check all, confirm with OK button and you need to press Override to override the values which you have in the current project. If you want to change any of the walls which you have in a project, you need to select it, select properties and switch it to another type. Let's repeat this process for some different internal walls. In 2D you are able to see some details of these walls, layers and some connections between them. If you want to get more information about these solutions, you need to select the object, choose Beam Object tab and press Info button. Then you will be able to see the product page and get some additional information about the solution. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye!